In today's tutorial, I want to share with you some tips how we can all fly our crow. So crow is an arm balance. And I want to introduce you with an idea of deconstructing advanced posture. So basically taking a posture which seems quite difficult for us and thinking what other postures combined could help us to do the more advanced posture. So that's what we will do today. We will deconstruct the crow pose and hopefully one day we'll fly our crow. So let's start on our backs. Laying on our backs, hug your knees towards your chest. Cool. Slide forward. Hug yourself and roll to the left and to the right for a few moments, simply to arrive to your own yoga mat and to arrive to your body. So still thinking of an idea of deconstructing the crow pose, we know that we need to have our abs activated. So that's what we will do now. Put your toes together, knees wider apart, extend your arms towards the ceiling as if you're holding the sky, so flexing your hands. And then with inhalation, lift your head, your shoulders up, put your knee into your upper arm, slightly lift your tailbone up, really squeeze the knee into your upper arm, still holding the sky, feel your abs activating. So now we are on a crow pose on our backs. Stay here and breathe. Inhale. Exhale, lower your head down. You can extend your arms back behind your head. And let's do it one more time. So inhale, arms extending, holding the sky. And then whenever you're ready, lift your shoulders up. Put your knees into your upper arms and squeeze your knees and your upper arms into your knees. Slightly lift your tailbone up. Your toes are touching, knees wider apart. Your palms are above your shoulders. Inhale. Hold and breathe. I hope you can feel your abs working. Activating. One more time, inhale. Exhale, lower everything down. Extend your arms behind your head. Extend your head, legs as well and stretch your whole body. Point your toes. Hug your knees towards your chest. Put your hands behind your knees and start to roll forward and back, forward and back, meeting in a seated position. So seated, whatever is comfortable for you. Now in a crow pose, we are balancing on our palms. So it's important to have our wrists warmed. So extend your arms above your head and squeeze your hands into the fingers into the fist and then open them up but really open them up as much as you can check if you're breathing one more inhalation exhale shake your hands now to continue to warm our wrists, let's make circles with our wrists into one side. You can also grab like a little weight and do this rotation with a weight so it will be even better. So really warming and strengthening our wrists. But this is already enough. Now change the direction, so going to the other side, still making circles. Sometimes I like just to hold my hand and do one uh, rotation at a time, one wrist at a time, because this way I can really move from my wrist and my uh, forearm is not moving. 
So just some ideas for you. Again, no correct or wrong. Now imagine that you're playing a piano. And now uh, thumb touches your small uh, little finger and just alternating. Again, no correct or wrong. Just warming up our wrists and our hands and our fingers. Okay, shake your hands. So we already covered our abs, activating abs. We did a crow pose on our backs. We are warming up our wrists. Also in a crow pose, we have chaturanga arms. So with chaturanga arms, hands are underneath your shoulders. You can stay on your knees now if you want. And if you're feeling warm already, you can come on and extend your legs behind you. So let's bend our elbows 90 degrees. Then our elbows are in the same line as our shoulder. Lift it back up. So sometimes our elbows, they want to open up to the side like that. I will show you like this, but we want to keep them in same line as our wrist and our shoulder. So let's do little push-ups. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Wonderful. Now, come into a downward looking dog for a few moments. You can bend one knee and then the other. Push the ground away from you. Spread your fingers wide. Your knuckles are pushing down. Your shoulder blades are away from each other. Inhale. Exhale. Now let's meet in a squat position. So walking forward, we are in a squat. You can always lift your heels up if it feels more comfortable. You can also lower your heels down. You can also put like a little towel, towel or making your uh, yoga mat, wrapping your yoga mat and then putting it underneath your heels. So again, choose what's comfortable for you. So Malasana, the squat pose, is another posture that will lead us to a crow pose. So again, deconstructing the crow pose. So in our squat pose, you can put your hands together, put your elbows inside your knees, and then imagine that you are pushing your knees away from you with your elbows, but at the same time, your knees are squeezing your elbows. So two opposing forces. So we want to feel our inner thighs working as well. The more we squeeze our knees into our elbows, the more our elbows resist, the more we should feel in our inner thighs. Still squeeze. Take a deep breath in, exhale, one more time, inhale, exhale, extend your hands, fingertips on the ground and extend your legs, forward fold, just for a few moments to relax our legs. Let's meet back into our squat position, inhale, arm up. Exhale, swap sides. We can do a few more. Inhaling. And last one on both sides. Okay. Come back into the center. Now, knees touch the ground. Come back, the other one. Push your hip forward. I like to incorporate and move in whatever way it feels good. So making, continuing to make circles with our wrists. Maybe making circles, 
car, so controlled articulate rotations with our elbows. So your knee touches the ground, come back into the center, and let's see how we go with the crow pose. So you can take a yoga block or a big book if you don't have a block. And let's start by putting the yoga block and then standing on the block. If we elevate our legs, sometimes it's slightly easier to put our knees on our upper arms in a crow pose. So, palms are down, knuckles are pushing down, elbows are in line with your shoulders. With inhalation, lift your seat up, put your knees into your upper arms, and already you are in a crow pose. So, tilting forward. The more we tilt forward, you can have a pillow in front of your face, just in case we fall. Then you can lift one foot up, lower, lift the other one up, lower, and just alternate like that. A few more or as many as you'd like. Wonderful, come back onto your block, point your fingers down, so flexing our hands in the other direction, shaking your hands. So always listen to your body if it feels too much, stop, do it the next day um, or later, it should only feel good for us. So let's try it again, hands down. Elbows in line with your shoulders, lift your seat up, put your knees into your upper arms, elbows again in line, so check, then tilt forward as if with your nose you would like to smell your yoga mat, then maybe lift one foot up, maybe the other, hold, come back into your block, again, point your fingers down, shaking your hands and now you can also try without a block so for some people with a block it's easier for some it's not so it's good to try both options so again remember knees wider apart toes almost touching abs are really activating elbows in line with your shoulders knuckles are pushing down and tilting forward Lifting our seat up, knees into our upper arms, and forwarding, forward, 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 going forward. Then if you are in a crow pose, you can imagine that you're lifting your heels towards your sit bones, so squeezing your hamstrings. Maybe lower. Put your palms facing up, so to relax our wrists. So again, I think the most important is not to expect to do the harder postures immediately, but simply to enjoy the journey towards them. So now I'm learning a handstand and even though of course it would be cool to hold a handstand, but it's a really nice to simply learn to cultivate beginner's mindset Okay, shake your hands. So let me know uh, in the comments if you could hold the crow pose. How did it feel? Do you feel that these postures helped you to, to go towards your crow pose? And again, the same idea of deconstructing the harder postures applies to absolutely everything. So if people want, if you want, I can do some other tutorials, for example, for flying pigeon. So yeah, just let me know what would you like to see more from me. And I hope you see me soon again. Thank you.